President Felipe Calderón, what do you think about Paris? Was this a diplomatic breakthrough or is it a game changer? Definitely, uh, it could be both things. Uh, it's a diplomatic success, success and at the same time, like a milestone in the way we need, we need to go. So in that sense, uh, Paris definitely is like a providing a clear mark about what is the way to go. Uh, the pending question is if we are going to be able or not to mm -hmm. follow such path. Mm -hmm. So what now, what next? Implementation. Everything is about how to keep the words of the global leaders in the sense that the commitments are there, so now it's time to fulfill them. So everything is about implementations and the right uh, incentives, if I say, the right tracking, the right follow-up. Uh, so fulfill, fulfilling the words is, is the, the When you talk the about incentives, do you mean specifically for business or incentives for governments to implement? For both, I would say. Yes. Uh, for instance, carbon pricing is crucial in order to provide the right economic signals to is take Is that decisions. the most important measure? Among others, I would say, if I need to pick one yeah. uh, global public policy, yes. Why uh, is that? Because uh, it is Im almost impossible to address all the issue uh, in, uh, through one single decision maker, either the government in each country, but if you can provide economic signals, millions of consumers and producers everywhere mm -hmm will take the right decisions. Mm -hmm. So economic signals are crucial. Mm -hmm. If uh, the first one would be establishing some kind of pricing mechanism mm -hmm. of carbon, of mm -hmm. course there are a lot of uh, mm -hmm. measures we can take, but that mm -hmm. is quite important. Then we have many developing countries who are in a desperate need of access to electricity. How are they going to manage? Well, this, uh, it's important to me is uh, we need to, to take this opportunity to leapfrog uh, yeah. providing electricity for those countries. So we, um, the developed world made uh, an incredible uh, journey in order to get electricity, yes. Mm -hmm. But maybe we need to leapfrog providing electricity to the new or developing countries without making the mistakes, if I can, can say Can they that. even have an advantage? Yes, of course, because let's see, let me take this example, uh, fixed lines in, in telephones and mobile phones. No, uh, Currently, people in India, for instance, uh, have access to telephone, but not in the fixed line, which is a traditional idea of development. It would be crazy if we try to provide telephones for the people, obligating them to take fixed lines. The same with electricity. I think it, they have the advantage that technology could provide all those countries with new ways to avoid the fixed lines in electricity, for instance. I know that it's pending a lot of research on that, but it is possible and we must to try to get a leapfrog on that. How important is the role of business and companies like StarCraft in this development? It's crucial. Actually, the real game changer in Paris was the private sector, in my mm. opinion. And StarCraft and other companies uh, have the chance to promote from the business, business point of view uh, change in the global trend. Um, the good news is that now the economy, the new climate economy, we say, could provide uh, benefit for investors, benefit for businesses, and at the same time providing solutions for mm -hmm. the global uh, for the global problem for the air. Mm -hmm. And in that sense, we can design models in which you can get benefits in economic terms, but also we can reduce carbon emissions. We are exactly in the right path mm -hmm. to get. A global solution. As, as you've headed up the new climate economy report, you suggest trillions and trillions of new investments in renewable energy. Definitely. And when I say, when we say that uh, we need like a 90 trillion in the new kind of low carbon infrastructure, for instance, we don't say that we need to collect 90 trillion uh, uh, for that. It's just, we are talking about to, to, to change the old high intensive infrastructure, instead of to build a new coal facility, for instance, we need to build a new renewable facility. It's the same money, it's the same 90 trillion, but the difference is we need to, to do right thing from now in the new low carbon economy. Thank you so much, Felipe Calderon. You're welcome.